Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to The Poker Resort and we have a new episode of an unboxing today. Now this unboxing is going to be a little bit different than um, our previous unboxings and they used to just be TCG. But we're going to change it up a little bit today and we're going to bring a new unboxing and that is going to be the Trainer Red Nendoroid figure. Now this is a figure that you guys can, I think you can only get this in Japan so they're kind of rare but you just got to find some online site and you'll, you'll find it eventually. But yeah, so uh, I, I always really wanted this um, kind of figurine just because I love Red and I love, love the original Pokemon. So um, you're able to get, well for those of you who don't know what a Nendoroid is, it's basically a character that you can um, have in kind of like a mini form. But you also get to change it up and get different personalities with it. So as you guys can see, we get three different faces. You can get the character to be in different positions. So you get a bunch of different customizations with this. So I think it's a really neat thing to have. And if you ever get sick of just looking at, um, let's say, just this, you can change it up into something new. So let's go and open this up. I'd say first thing, make sure you guys um, tell them like to do like some fragile packaging. Because my packaging didn't exactly come like, if you guys can tell, like it's kind of indented a little bit. And I was a little disappointed in that. So I don't know, just tell whoever you get order it from that, tell them to make sure that they take care of it or whatever, just put some kind of label on the box, say, don't destroy my box please, I like it. So let's go and take this out of the packaging, so I'll show you guys what we all get. So as you guys can tell, this is what you're all going to be getting. So you get the trainer right of course, you get two different faces, you get the three uh, Kanto starters, you get a Pokeball, a Master Ball, get its backpack and you get a few different customizations with the uh, um, arms and uh, actually one leg so I don't know why you need to change that up but oh all right so let's go and open this bad boy up and see what um all goes with the character so let's get this sticky part first this platform right here you basically just put your character up to it so it stands in there so it's not falling down all the time so let's get straight to our Nendoroid. So here we go, we have our red Nendoroid figure. Looking nice and just a, it's, it's a nice design. I like it a lot. So that's one of the reasons why I got it. So let's go in just kind of just for uh, uh, purposes of showing you guys this character off. Let's uh, change him up a little bit. So it's pretty simple. Grab the head, you, you pull it off. So now we got a, we got a bald. Uh, perfectly old man bald um, red as you guys can tell and they just got the hair in the back like an 80 year old man so um, let's take the back off as well so what, what should we do um let's do red doing a command so let's just go and use this um, character so all you gotta do here you just you pop it off it's pretty self-explanatory right? you don't even really need to look at any directions it's pretty pretty simple to understand so we're just gonna go in okay so actually you get an extra one of these pieces right here so it basically just connects the head so in case you lose one um, you still have another one to use so let's just go and pop this in and oh wait let's oh that's why it's upside down we'll just go in just a sec there we go and then we're just gonna pop that on all right now we got now we got him shouting so let's go put some hair back on his head and go to here so now we got shouting red so we got this part done but let's go move on to changing up his arms so let's go and uh, you can actually uh, if you guys can tell here you can just and take off his hand as you guys can see his tiny little hand so let's go and change that top pointer like he's doing a command to one of his pokemon and let's see here he's gotta connect it nice and simple raise his arm and i don't even know why does it why do we have another leg i don't understand that oh, oh drop the drop the leg very important if you guys don't drop. All right, so we got an extra leg. Let's just figure out what we can do with it. Um, I'm going to take this off, and I am going to put on. Oh, no. All right, so you want to make sure when you take these legs off that the ball thing comes with. All right, so let's go do that. I don't understand the point of it. Um, 
he just has he his his knee is now bending that's that's difference now one leg is shorter than the other so uh, i don't i don't i don't get it i don't understand the point of the leg but i don't know we're just gonna go with it so let's go and show off the characters now so first off we'll have number one in the pokedex we have Bulbasaur, I almost mind blanked for a second there. So this is the Bulbasaur you're getting. It's, I mean, it's not re really big or anything. I mean, the Kanto starters aren't huge or anything. So it's kind of compared to red. So if you guys want to get an idea of the size. So there's Bulbasaur and there's red. And then we have uh, next in line with Squirtle. So you got a nice looking Squirtle over there. So you guys can tell, it's just kind of like, uh, it just looks like Squirtle. I mean, you can't really tell too much that it's an Enderoid or anything. Um, and then last one, last but definitely not least, we have Charmander. Char, Char! Yeah, I can, I can get that voice now, I got that voice. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be uh, Charmander. So let's go and set them all up and, you know what, I'm gonna do a little, a little stand here, so. Let's take off the stand. So for those of you who wonder about the stand, this is the stand, you get this little stick thing. So all you really do here is just to bring it up like that, bring it in the back. If it wants to stick and it doesn't want to stick, okay, so there, here we go. So basically just something like this. So after you do that, you can just go and uh, connect red oh we forgot the backpack we want the backpack backpack you always need a backpack you're not a trainer if you don't have a backpack because i mean where are you going to get your bicycle from you can't get it out of like anywhere else i mean only this magical backpack fits every possible item in there so now we got red in his nice backpack doing his command so now let's go set up the all right, now as you guys can tell, we have Trainer Red all set up in his position, telling his Pokemon whatever move what to do. So that, as you guys can tell, so this is what you guys are basically going to be getting with the uh, Trainer Red and Enderoid figure. So I definitely recommend it, you guys. I think like for all those collectibles out there, you definitely get a good product out of this. And see a little crease, you gotta close that. So, but I don't know. I just think it looks really great. Let's get a real close-up shot here. We have Trainer Red. There we go. So now you can see a head-to-toe of him doing Charmander. And then Squirtle. And then Bulbasaur. So, yeah. That is going to be uh, basically our opening today. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely consider you guys should be getting this. Um, also, I believe there is a Diet. No, not Diantha. Um... The Sinnoh, um, the Sinnoh champion, I forgot her name, Cynthia. You guys can get Cynthia, and then there also will be, um, uh, Trainer N coming out as well. So if you guys want to see one of those, or possibly get one of those, uh, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you guys want to see more Nendoroid or other Pokemon merchandise box openings, I could definitely do something like that. So if you guys enjoyed... Hit that like button, and that's going to be it for today's episode, and I'm out.